Welcome to Doubly Blessed Homestead. Today we're going to do a family project. I've got my wife, Melissa, she's filming me. And I've got my two boys helping me. We're going to be building a worm tower in the herb section of my garden. And we've got uh, Tabby the cat. I don't know if you just saw her or not. Anyway, so why don't we go ahead and have the boys introduce themselves. Uh, I'm Eli and I'm 13. Me too and I'm 10. What we have here is we have a, a ceramic pipe. It's an old pipe. It's made out of ceramic and some sort of concrete. Anyway, I found it buried in the woods. I've got two of these, so we're going to make a worm tower out of it. So we've got the pipe, and we buried it about six to eight inches into my garden bed. What are we going to do next, Eli? We're going to put composted... Uh chicken poop two to three inches inside that uh, ceramic pot. How deep? Two to three inches. Yeah, we'll probably put three to four inches. Make okay. it a little deeper. How about that? All right. Okay. So we got the uh, we got the chicken poop in there, right? Right. Okay, so what's the next step, Ethan? We are going to put half of the bucket of worms. This is some worms out of my worm farm. I don't know how many worms there are in there. There's probably two or three hundred worms. So we're gonna do two towers today. So this is the first tower that we're working on right now. So we'll work about half of these worms into there. Okay, we're back. Yay. We, yay. <laughs> We've already got the worms in. So now what do we got? We're gonna have pour some kitchen scraps such as like bananas and apple cores to the rim yeah can you get that mom mm -hmm. it's got a bell on the end of it and there's a rim on the inside so we're just going to fill it up to the rim oh that is a lot of banana peels like the majority of that Pack it down in there. Smell it. It does smell that bad. Now I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to do this, but it just feels like the right thing to do. I'm just gonna take some of this dirt that we put out of the hole and I'm gonna toss it right on top just to try to wake some of that down. And I don't know. It just seems like the right thing to do, so that's what I'm gonna do. But you don't have to. That wasn't in the instructions. We're just gonna finish it off by sticking some uh, some dry material over the top of it. And the, reason, the only reason I'm doing this is because that's generally how I finish off my worm farm uh, in the bucket. So I don't know. That's another one of them things that it just kind of seems like the right thing to do. That's worked out for me in the past. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna have to find something to cover the top of this, maybe like another bucket or something flat that'll uh, that will keep it dry. All right, keep so it there's the finished project. That's the first one we did. This is the second one we did. That one's not near as deep. Just trying it out, see how everything works. So the reason I'm doing this is that's basically just a, an in-place worm farm in the, er, in the herb bed. So uh, t tell them how it works. Well, the, uh, the worms eat the kitchen scraps, and when they do, they basically their droppings will go into the soil, and it'll nourish, hopefully nourish all our plants. Yep. So, here's hoping. Now, the, the original plans had me drilling holes in the side of the pipe. That's if we're using a uh, like a PVC pipe or something I could drill through. I didn't have a drill bit to drill through three quarter inches of ceramic pipe. So I didn't drill any holes. So we'll see how it works. This is an experiment. I'm always looking for something new and I already had the worms, already had all the material. So this is kind of a free little uh, experiment to see what happens. We'll keep you updated on the progress and hopefully it works out. Thanks for watching. 